Following on from the previous video, we were trying to work we were trying to work this out, but we don't we don't know how to integrate this, so we need to turn it into a series. But our, but our main question is to work out how many terms we would need in order to get the the area to be within this level of accuracy. But but in order for us to work out the the number of terms needed, we would need to think about the remainder. We would need to think about the remainder. But in order for us to make use of this remainder, we would need to show that our series, uh, our, our alternating series, needs to converge. Then we can make use of this R. Uh, this R will allow us to work out the number of terms needed in order to get this to be within this level of accuracy. Uh, you see what I mean later. So, following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to, uh, we got to, we got to this stage here. We got to this stage here. So, so, uh, so this this integral from zero to to one is given by by this. But in order for us to work out the number of terms, the number of terms needed, um, my uh, whatever. It, in order for us to work out the number of terms needed, we we would need to think about the uh, the uh, the remainder. We would need to think about the remainder. But in order for us to make use of this remainder, we need to show that this this series, this alternating series, it, this alternating series needs to converge in order for us to make use of this thing here. Okay, so so our next step is to show that this thing, this alternating series, uh, our next step is to show that it converges. So in order for us to converge, sorry, in order for us to show that it converges, we need to discard the um, the alternating component. We need to discard the alternating component. Just concentrate on the UN. Just concentrate on the UN. Make sure, make sure all the UNs are positive. Make sure they're all uh, non non increasing, and make sure that the limit is zero. I I'm assuming you can do all three because we've done it many times. So as it turns out, this alternating series converges. So when when, when we have an alternating series that converge, we uh, we can make use of this remainder thing. So the remainder will always be less than or equal to to not un but the next one the next term so going back to here so the remainder the remainder is always less than or equal to the next term the next term so looking at looking at this so un is this this is our un the next term will be you putting n plus 1 into into here and then n plus 1 into here so so let's just concentrate on this bit here you've got 2 and then bracket n Plus one. That's that's just that's just this end here, and then you put your plus, plus, and then you put your one, one. So this whole thing here, as it turns out, it would be two n plus three. So so you have two n. So you have two n uh, plus three factorial, and then and then this thing here, it would be the same. It would be two n plus three. So that's over, and then you put one here. So this is this is a uh, un, and this is un plus 1 this is uh, un plus 1 so hang on so un plus 1 is this thing here un plus 1 so hang on so the rem remainder is less than or equal to un plus 1 or well, un plus 1 is this thing here okay so 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 this is our remainder but well, we we require our remainder we will require our remainder to be less than less than this thing here uh, remember this was in the previous video we require the accuracy to be within this. So, so we want our remainder to be strictly less than this thing here. So now take the reciprocal of both sides. That will then give us this. So we are searching for a, a, a number, capital N, uh, where, where this side would be bigger than this thing here. Because of this, um, because of this factorial thing, we, we don't know, we don't have an elegant way of solving it. So let's just guess. When n equals 1, this whole thing here will be 600. Well, 600 is, is less than this. So, so when n equals 1, it's no good. Uh, when n equals 2, um, this whole thing here will be this. Well, this thing here is bigger than, than 2000. So, uh, so it will be, uh, it, it will be good. So capital N is equal to 2. So what that means is, what that means is, Capital N equals two, so so we we need three. All we need is three terms, and then we will be within our level of accuracy. So all we need is three terms. Well, well, one, two, three terms here would give us this. 
uh, and then we, we can be sure we can be 100 percent sure that this number here will be within within our uh, our accuracy okay